So good afternoon and uh, welcome to day six of uh, my uh, program of uh, going live and going live. Uh, essentially now what I'm thinking of doing is trying to go live for uh, 31, <coughs> 31 days. So here we are. <coughs> welcome to day six. Um, And uh, we're up. <coughs> Gosh. Uh, what I'm going to do today is, is a little bit of reflection. I wanted to reflect back on what this this past six days has been like. It's the first week. Uh, actually, it's been seven days because on Monday uh, I was live but in a private group for virtual speaking pros. And uh, Wendy Keir has agreed to come on the show. So, uh, I think it's going to be next week. We're going to be talking about virtual speaking pros and the new summit that's coming up that she's putting together. <coughs> virtual speaking pros is a is essentially a uh, uh, basically what she's created is a uh, a private members group a private members service for people who 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 wanting to go live and how they can learn how they can develop their skills and be uh, uh, go go live and I've learned a huge amount from being a presenter on there I've been talking about storytelling and how you use stories uh, online but I've also been learning a lot I've been learning from Joe Dobbs a lot about about the the podcasting tools and techniques, which actually also apply to what I'm doing now, because essentially, although this is video, it's uh, it's also a podcast. Uh, Claire Evans has been talking a lot about, um, she's a life coach, and she's been helping us all to get ourselves organized and work out how we plan and get the right fees. <clears throat> and Lottie, who you met a couple of days ago, if you've uh, looked in, <clears throat> Lottie's skill is in confidence on camera, how to get better on camera. And she's just a few minutes working with Lottie has really, really helped. But I thought today what I'd do is to is actually take you a little bit behind the scenes and have a look at what's happening because I've had quite a few comments from people saying, uh, I'm, I'm planning to go live, but I don't really know where to go, and nor did I, to be honest. Um, other people saying, what, what, is, what are you using? How are you, how are you doing this? What, what's happening there? And how, how does it all work? So what I'm going to do, and it's Sunday, so I'm a little bit dressed down, a little bit more chilled out today, well, I'm, I'm hoping, but... Before I look at backseas, let me just I think. There are a few things that have happened this week which have actually quite surprised me. Uh, Tuesday when I first went live, I've been doing live on, on private groups, and that was fine. I, I was actually quite confident about that because what I find is when, I'm, when you're chatting to other people, whether it's an interview or where you're as part of a group, which is what we do on Virtual Speakers um, uh, Pro, um, there's a group of people, and we're talking, and you can see everybody on screen. And we use a, a service. It's called Zoom, uh, and I'm going to be looking a little bit at that as well in this 31 Days Live uh, to try and sort of get a sense of, of how that might work. What I'm using today is, is Be Live, um, and this is a service that works exclusively with Facebook Live and really adds to what's available on Facebook. So there are lots of things that you can do. But the most important change I found was that I, I'm – made a commitment that I'm going to do this. Initially, it was for 18 days. Now I'm going to go for 31 days. And there is a, a, a group you can join if you're interested on this. Join um, 31 Days Live. It's a, a, a Facebook group. Uh, you can post your, uh, post your uh, live broadcast or somebody like broadcast in there. Talk to other people who are doing theirs. Uh, get help and support. Uh, and that's the great thing I'm finding. There's lots and lots and lots of people around who are there to try and help and i'm finding out a lot and on friday of course it's going to be ladies go live and that's a whole day looking at some of the women around the world who are making live broadcasting really really work especially in the area of charities philanthropy um, and how organizations with with very little resource very little money can actually level the playing field and put themselves almost on a par with large corporations in their ability to reach out to people now, I want to just play a little bit in a minute now, just show you how easy it is to actually uh, handle this. And the, and the way I'm going to do that um, is to share with you uh, my desktop screen. Um, so uh, if I just <laughs> um, show you the screen now, um, you will see it's there at picture within picture, so you can hardly see it. Um, but if I take me out of the picture, um, what will happen is that this will now completely go live. 
perspective. Um, and so you can see this is the whole screen. This is all, everything I can see. As I move this around, you'll see that the change is taking place because I'm now engaging with uh, with this um, screen. And um, here you can see is what's I can see there is is, is my image of what's happening, what, what's on screen and you know what's what's available and i've got pictures here which i can get access to from my facebook album so if i click on this one down here this will open me out now and you can see now i've got an open sign in with facebook it's going to take me into facebook and there's all my facebook pictures so i'm just going to pick one up for, uh, for now and just going to open that one up um whoops where have we gone um there we are, <clears throat> we're opened. Uh, and I'm gonna take this one up to broadcast for a minute. Um, <clears throat> if I want to, I can uh, just um, take this off solo and you'll see all the various different pictures, me on the side on that picture there. Um, what I'm gonna do is just take this one to solo for a second. Can you see where it says solo here? I can then move across. No. That's my, my partner, Jamie. So she's going to hate the fact that she's <laughs> currently <laughs> on screen. Um, but I wanted to show that because it's actually a picture I took just to show you the setup that I've got and how I set my things up. I've got two quite big lights here up, up here, which are shiny against the wall. Um, and those reflect back. Now, I used to have those turned around shining on me and that washed everything out in my face. By putting those against the wall, it reflects back a much softer light. Um, now, you'll also see that my laptop is sitting on a strange looking apparatus. Now, in this case, I was setting up in order to present standing up, which I quite like to do. Because I'm a speaker, I most of, the, of my work is done standing up when I'm engaging with people. Um, and I find actually I can engage quite, quite well um, when I'm doing uh, doing that. So there, there is my little stand, and I brought, bought this brilliant stand. It, it uh, you can alter the the length of it. You can I use it as a little table when I'm sitting um, on the settee in the in the in the living room. I've got it used now, very very low down because I'm sitting down, but it still lifts my screen up almost to the height of the camera. So it's not in front of the camera, but I can look at the screen uh, and look back up to the camera so that I'm looking at you. And uh, this is the real trick of live being live is, is learning to speak to the camera. And I have to want it. I've looked back over my videos this week, been a bit of a challenge for me doing that, but I'm getting there. So that's all it is. And on the side there, um, you can't actually see it. So I'm actually gonna go um, back to me being solo and I'll just pick up this. This is my microphone. I know it's a big, big looker, isn't it? it it's called a Blue Yeti. Um, I have a number of different microphones I use, but frankly, this is the one that works the best. Um, and the reason I like it is that um, I can set it out of camera shot, as you can see there. Um, whoops, go on, here we are. it's out of camera. Uh, it picks everything up, but also it's directional, or you can actually change whether it's a condenser microphone that picks up all around the area or whether it's just me. It doesn't pick up the sound coming from my, from my laptop. It doesn't pick it up much. Might be a slight amount of feedback from time to time. Um, so there we go. So let's uh, let's go back now to the screen so we can see what's happening uh, on, on screen. So I've got various different pictures that I, that I can that I can do. If I take this picture of my setup um, out, um, and now I can put back up here. This is the the B Live um, logo. That's the the phone. If you want to find B Live, it's simply B Live TV. Um, you go there and just simply sign up. Now I'm using the show mode, which means I've got, you know, I can have, uh, I can bring guests and all sorts of things in here. So if anybody happened to come along, which nobody's coming today, so obviously it's a busy, day, uh, a relaxing day today. But it, if anybody wanted to, and during the week, I'm going to be having a number of guests coming up. I'll be sending them out an invitation and I'll send them out a link um, so that they'll come in um, into here and then they'll, um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring them up on screen and they'll sit beside me uh, in much the same way as you saw earlier on when I would say we can we can have various different modes and styles of, uh, of the way in which we set things up. So there's a big picture of me with some small piece on the side. I could have three things. So if it was three people speaking, we could all be side by side um, there. Um, and 
you know, I've got a fair amount of flexibility to play with to move things around. At the same time down here, um, I can type. So if I type in um, B, blive.tv um, and I can click on that. Um, I'm going to just go back to me on solo, click B Live TV and bring that up. And that brings up a what's called a lower third. Uh, just brings up a simple little uh, banner that says, hey, this is uh, where to go if you want to find information about, about that. And I can cancel that and just hide it. Um, I've also got an agenda and I haven't got anything in this agenda today because I was looking at sharing live things. But I can add things into into add things into the uh, agenda. Agenda. Um, and as I add those agenda items in, um, I, I can then show those um, across over to there as well instead of just typing them directly in. So all sorts of ways in which I can do it. So if something comes along, and we, I can just add things uh, into the program. If I've if I've got some uh, now, I generally t set up an agenda. If I've got lots of things I, I know I want to talk about, different um, programs uh, then. And then I'll put them all in here. So let's just get that out of the way. Uh, also, uh, if anybody was commenting, that would be um, that would all come down here. So in here, I've always got um, what's what's going on, and there's a comment that's come in here from B Live itself to say that we're already. And if I click that, that will come up then to sh to show uh, comments from Facebook for post to appear uh, in, in B Live. So. Um, anybody who comments here, anybody who, who sends a message in, I can click that up and acknowledge that comment, make a comment. So if someone asks a question, um, that's a perfect thing. I can put the question up on screen. I don't have to retype it. Just click it up. It comes up on screen, and then we can um, add it. So, so this is a really, really amazing tool. You could just do solo talks where you just get online and talk, and you've got all this, all these tools to change the way things um, way, the way things are. <clears throat> um, You've got um, an interview. If you just if there's just two of you having a chat, then there's a, an interview format where you've got a different format. And then there's a show format where I say you can have up to three people, but you can also bring up your um, screen. You can bring up various things that you've got, you know, uh, photos from your Facebook album. One thing about the photos, um, obviously there are photos sometimes which I don't particularly want to share on Facebook, and I was a little bit concerned. And then I suddenly realized, of course, you can put photos on Facebook and you can actually share them just to yourself. So what I've done is that all those photos which you saw uh, in here um, are all photos which um, I just sh uh, which are only shared um, to me. Nobody else can see them. So I can click on them, bring them up, um, add them to the broadcast. Um, no, I've got to take one down first. Add, uh, <coughs> Add that to the broadcast. Don't want that one. Um, and then bring it in. And there you go. Ladies go live uh, 25th of August, which is this Friday. Um, now, I have to say, it's taken me a little bit of time to start getting the hang of being able to maneuver all these things while still talking to camera. Um, but the great thing is, of course, if you've got somebody who's, who's being interviewed, I can bring them on. I can ask them a question, click them solo so that they come up, and then I can go on behind the scenes while they're talking, and I can add little extra things in. I can bring up pictures of their website, all sorts of things. It all looks extremely professional. It looks like it's like a huge team running behind us, which is really, really great. Um, and that's how BeLive works. So um, I know no one come online today so it's five o'clock 5 15 i'm going to bring that to a close i hope that's made a little bit of sense um just one, one thing I, I would say that also in closing about the, the benefits i've had this week apart from the the improved confidence what i'm finding is this this whole thing i mentioned in uh, i think it was the second um second day um you know do what you fear and keep on doing it till you're no longer afraid and I've reached that point, I think, now where I've overcome the fear. Uh, there's still a degree of nervousness when I'm coming up, but I'm I'm feeling more relaxed, and I know that my on-camera uh, ability has is has improved in just one week simply because I'm here, I'm doing it, I'm getting used to talking to the camera. The second thing is has been a, a, a very interesting thing. I, I'm self-employed, like a lot of people. Um, 
that I come across on the internet where we're all running our own businesses and most speakers are all self-employed. So, so scheduling my time uh, tends to be around bookings. If I've got a booking, I know that I've got to be somewhere at a particular day. So that day gets blocked out, schedule my travel. And then I schedule a couple of days for preparation of, um, of, the, of the talk. But, but largely, if I, you know, when I get up in the morning, I haven't, got, I haven't got to get out and go to work. I just get and start work when I can. And it's very easy to get into a very oh, dangerously relaxed uh, way of working. Um, so suddenly you find, I, I suddenly find a look around and think, oh, I'm not even starting work until 10, 10.30 because I'm getting up, I'm mucking around in the kitchen, I'm making a breakfast, I'm doing something else. Then I come online and I, I suddenly find myself getting carried, I, I get caught up with something, someone sent me an email that looks interesting. And it's very easy to lose time and lose track of things. And suddenly time is getting wasted. So what happened this week was I, I started to Say, right, well, I'm going to do this online. And as far as possible, I'm going to make that four o'clock every day. Um, today, I had to make it a little bit later because we had some commitments, which meant I was not going to be able to be here for four. Um, tomorrow, it's going to have to be one o'clock because I've got to leave um, to travel um, to Leeds. And that's um, so I'm going to work around those. Uh, and once this 31 day program is out, I'm going to set a, a schedule. Now, the thing I didn't show you about this, which I can't show you at the moment because it, it's, um, it happens before we get to this, this part of the uh, program, is the scheduling. Um, you can just go on live straight away, but most of the time what you do is you schedule your program. And you schedule your program to start um, at some time, you know, 20 minutes or more after the, the, you set the schedule. And the great thing there is you, what I do is I schedule the program and I'm going to, learning now to get and do that fairly early. Schedule that, and that gets shared to my either my Facebook page or what, I choose which page, but the primary page at the moment is my primary Facebook account. But I then share that to two or three pages that I uh, manage and to a group. And I sometimes share that onto other groups, um, like the 31 Days Live group or um, Ladies Go Live. You know, there are various different groups that I'm involved in, which have given me permission to share uh, what I'm doing. But by sharing the scheduled program, nothing actually happens. Just a, a, a blank screen comes up to say, this program is scheduled for 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock or whatever. Click here to get a reminder. And then in all the pages where I've shared it, in all the groups where I've shared it, the moment I go live, it goes live. So everybody in all of those pages gets to see simultaneously me delivering this live show. What I then do at the end of it is I copy this um, and uh, you can save it, but I then um, um, copy it down to uh, go to Facebook and copy it, download the, the video, upload that to YouTube. Um, and then I can share it onto other platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn and Google uh, from there. Uh, and promote the, the, the Twitter feed. It's easier than trying to make, muck around. Um, you can get the, a URL and you can share it directly from Facebook, but I find I, I get a little bit more control over what's happening to the video uh, with doing it through YouTube. Um, but the scheduling is really the thing that's made the difference because I have to say, right, I'm going to do this at 4 o'clock, I've scheduled it. I now have to start organizing my day around the fact that I know I've got specific things that have to be done at specific times. And that has had a massive impact on improving my ability at managing my day. Uh, I've got a bit more to do, but it, I, I think it's a really helpful discipline, particularly when you're self-employed, when you've got that freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want, to suddenly find yourself in a position where you've got to do things at specific times. I've got to attend this meeting, got to sort this out, got to get that together, got to be ready, got to put my agenda together and be ready uh, to go to go live on, on, on the program. And I didn't do an agenda today, and I wish I had, because I've actually realized not having an agenda, even though I had a really good sense of what I was going to do, the agenda would have helped me to keep that meeting much more structured. So this is my lesson today. Always put the agenda together, just a simple agenda. Some of it I can share, some of it I don't need to, but it just is, is, is a quick program about what I'm doing. You can click and see the agenda, see what has to be uh, coming next and where you're going. Uh, and I think that helps to keep things under control. Anyway, there we go. Be live on TV. If you fancy coming on and being interviewed by me, 
uh, having a little bit of practice at being on a live show and being interviewed, because that's what I did to start off with, just getting the hang of it. Uh, Lottie uh, interviewed me, Wendy interviewed me, a few people have interviewed me, and that's been really good, useful practice in getting the use, used to going live. Um, more than happy to chat to anybody. If you want to come on live and talk about what you're doing and how you're planning to do uh, go live, just um, PM me on Facebook or message me for, um, directly below uh, the. Uh, you can still put comments and message, comments and messages on this video. I will be ca uh, checking those, keeping track of them. But um, if I don't, it means I've missed it. So just be, uh, message me again. Have a great Sunday. Have a great evening. Good week coming up. Um, I'm sure everybody's going to have a fun. I'm having a fabulous week this week. So much to do. Um, lots of interviews coming up. Loads of people have been volunteering to get to be interviewed on the show. And that's um, really, really inspiring. That's really encouraging for me that people want to get involved. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So <clears throat> had a great week. Hope you've enjoyed the shows. And uh, look forward to seeing you all uh, next week. Take care.